Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Outspoken Wheels on Wheels. Uh, you'll notice that it's been quite a while since I posted the video, my last video, which was me driving down to Arizona. There's been a lot happened and I apologize for not posting anything since then. I had planned to post every week. Um, I'm going to post a little photo, which will be a teaser for not this week, but for next week, which in next week's video is when I'll explain why I wasn't able to come back and post a video right away. Uh, but for now, here's the teaser and on with the video. So I finally arrived in Arizona, January 2024. I left yesterday morning at eight o'clock. I drove until I got tired, which was about one o'clock yesterday morning and I was in Wells, Nevada. So I pulled into a Love's truck stop and it was um, where I parked was, there was a lot of lights and it was a little bit noisy too. And I just, I slept a little bit, but not very much. So about two hours after that, I left there, drove down to my regular spot, which was about an hour or more um, past that, my regular rest stop that I really like, slept for a little over three hours really good because it's dark there and it's quiet and uh, had a good sleep so I'm here and now we're crossing the Mexican border and uh, I have a dash cam now so it's easier to videotape this kind of stuff uh, when we when I got pulled up here and these guys um, started checking everything they were looking at my tires I have studded tires on my van and they were trying to I could tell they were trying to figure out what they what it was and I was trying to explain and couldn't and finally he goes Canada and I go yeah so he says get going and now driving through here this is just after you cross the border and you see this kind of stuff on documentaries but I've never seen it in person and I don't know if you can really tell from the dash cam video but it's sort of like shanty shacks made of any kind of material that you can find and there's air conditioners in some of them and just really interesting about how industrious people are and now we're coming up to a toll booth and you can see on the left there the army they ride around in these pickups with seats in the back and a bunch of them and all their guns are there and what I was told was that um, this highway and maybe all the highways in Mexico, I don't know, are toll highways and the tolls go towards insuring people who get into accidents on them. So if I would have had an accident on this highway, I would have been covered um, by the insurance simply by virtue of the fact that I had paid tolls on it. And now we're coming into um, the place where I have to get my visa because I'm not traveling in touristy Mexico. I'm in uh, sort of the back country of Mexico. And I really wanted everyone to see this because I thought it was quite funny last year when we got off the freeway. This is an exit off the freeway and it's the exit that goes to the town that I'm trying to get to, Benamichi in Mexico. It's like no exit ramp or anything, it's just get off, get into the gravel, and there you are. So the next morning I was sitting in the back of my van reading and Rob came up, my friend that I'm staying with, and uh, he had these free tamales from the gas station. This is the parking lot that I'd parked in. It's just below my friend's house. Uh, they're up behind that uh, basketball net. One of the days uh, while I was in Benamichi, we decided to go south about 20 minutes to a hot springs. So this is the trip in we turn off the highway here and uh, and the road gets really interesting so I'll try and keep it as short as possible but it's kind of a neat road
These two beauties were on the side of the road on the way out there too. On the way back from the hot springs, the traffic came to a stop. We um, were actually held up a little bit waiting for a funeral procession to cross and turn into the graveyard on your right there. It was quite interesting to see. The camera. De, de la palabra de Dios. And just to end off Dios this video, this is one of my friend's neighbors. He loves to talk about no the Lord, Dios, and uh, Dios, that's what he was doing here. So I really Dios, like this guy. He just was super friendly, Dios. and we had some good visits, yeah. even though I never really Pero understood what he was saying half the time. Anyways, Dios, this is uh, how I end the video this no week. See you next week. La va a recordar allá donde esté, en un problema del cuerpo de uno, una enfermedad, por decir así. Ay, Dios mío, quítame este dolor de estómago porque no lo aguanto. Y luego él, eh, Dios contesta. Dios es el mismo ayer y hoy y por los siglos. No hay otro. ¿Sí? <risa> Muy bien. ¿Sí? Sorry, not quite the end of the video. I just thought I'd show you the freeway, freeway ramp to get back on the freeway. Uh, we're heading back to Tucson, and I'll tell you the rest of that story, why we had to go back early. Uh, I'll tell you that next week.